just want to show you how very easy and simple the new calendar system will make life for your clients. So I'm here as a client, you the trainer have just sent login details to your client having set things up. Here it is in my inbox. Click on the email and obviously they get given their password and links to your apps here and your website here for them to log in. So first of all, I'll just go to your website. This of course would be integrated into your own website or if you don't have a website, it would be your profile page mini site on PT Distinction. They just go in, pop in their email address and their password. Once they log in, they just see their calendar. So this would be set at the current week and they could go to today. So it's Monday today and see what they've got to do during the day. So the first thing would be their initial assessment. Click on that and they can view it. Check in to say that they've done it or close that down. So just quickly view the assessment. Takes them into the assessment and shows them what they need to do. The next thing that they need to do today is fill in their park queue. So click on that. Once again, they can check in and say they've done it or they can just view it and fill in the form. Once they're happy, save it and go back. As they scroll down a little bit towards 9 a.m. in the day, they see that they've got their beginner program one. Click on that. Again, they can check in to say that they've done the program. They can view the program and record their results. So this is a simple program that I made, obviously just for testing purposes. They can see the video. from two angles, as with all videos. See the description. Go back to the program and record their results if they wish to. They've got a little message saying update food diary. So again, it would take them straight into their food diary where they can update what they've eaten for the day. And once again, when they're happy, they just save it and go back. Next thing at 12 o'clock, so just before lunch, they have got a recipe PDF to view. You can go on there and view their recipe PDF. Exactly the same for every other day in the week. So once they've filled in their forms and done their assessment, they don't need to do that anymore. We've got beginner program three. Update food diary, so that's Tuesday what they've got to do. Then Wednesday, each day, they just log in, go to that day's activities, and they'll see exactly what they have to do and at what time they should do it, and they can do it very, very easily. Now, we've had a look at what it looks like inside the website, inside your website. Now let's go and have a look at how it functions in the apps. Here's how it now works inside the app. Clients will still get the option to choose from their programs or from their coaching and go straight into those. However, they now have a schedule tab and in time we will give you, the trainer, the option to only show the schedule tab once you've got it all set up. They click on schedule and the calendar will pop up and it will automatically go to today's date. You look through and the schedule that you've put in for your client will be right there. So this particular day is a busy one because I've set it up for the video. Lots of stuff for the client to do. At seven o'clock, they have their initial assessment. At eight o'clock, they fill in their parking. Nine o'clock, update the food diary. Nine o'clock again, a corrective and metabolic program one. And at midday, they view their PDF for some recipes. Anything and everything can be in here. They can check in to say that they've done it or they can view it. Now, inside the apps at the moment, anything from coaching and from programs can be viewed and used and results recorded inside the apps. They might want to update their food diary, in which case they'll click on view. It goes straight into the food diary and once again, it'll go straight into the correct 
date for them. So they just come in and fill in anything they want to for their meals for the day and their snacks for the day. If they scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that they can put in what they drink, tea, water, coffee, and other drinks. And they can also write in the type of training that they did that day or what training they did that day. So that's all in the food diary. Very, very soon we will have the option to also take photographs in the food diary so they'll just be able to photo a meal and it will go straight in there. So that'll save them a lot of time as well. When they're happy with that, they just save it and then go back. Again, that takes them straight back into today's schedule and they can come and look at their program. So they can either check in and just say, yeah, I've done the program or they can view the program. This is the program that you put in their schedule for the day and up it comes like so. If they want to watch any of the videos, they just go to the play button. Up comes the video, two angles as always, and a full description of how to perform the exercise. It's also got the sets and reps that you asked them to do. It will also have tempo, rest, intensity, etc. whatever you put in and want them to do and show them. From here, they can also record the results just by clicking the down arrow, or they can film their exercise technique or see past results. However, we'll just go back into the program and just scroll down. Looking at some of the more involved exercises where I've set them up with a few more things to track rather than just foam roller work, you can record results by clicking on the down arrow. Put in every result. And if they wish to write any notes on the exercise, they can. So it's very, very quick. Click on save and that'll close down. And they're straight back into the program. What you'll see is their most recent result is dated right there. And you can see that their records are here. So eight kilograms, 12 reps, time 45 seconds now. When they come to set two of the same exercise, it's all in there to make it even faster. So they want to record the result for set two. Click on the same down arrow and you'll see that everything is there. The chances are some of the variables will remain the same. For example, the weight they'll use and the time and maybe they did one extra rep. So they just change that, save it, done. Now the new record for the most recent result will show on the program if they want to see all of their other records, so all sets, all dates of past records for that same exercise, then they can do that as well. But this is designed for pure speed inside the workout for your clients. Sticking on the same exercise, if your clients want to record their exercise technique and view that alongside the demo video so they get some quick feedback, and then you can have a look at these videos so they go straight into your account and you can have a look and give your expert feedback. All they need to do is click on the down arrow again, click on the video camera, and it will take them here to record their technique. They'll get a little countdown from 10 seconds and they can start recording from exactly the same time as the video records. So the two synchronize up nicely. Now you can't do this on the computer that I'm on here, but inside the apps that works. And then you can hit this button to play back the video alongside the technique video, or if you've made your own custom videos, your technique video right here so that your clients get a real good idea of how they can improve their technique right there and then inside their training session. We then click back to go into the program. Just very quickly show you where to look if you want to see all of your clients' records inside the app or they want to see all of their past sets and workouts, how they've done on each exercise. I don't recommend they do this while they're working out because we want it to be quick and efficient. But once again, click on the down arrow and they click on the three little arrows that look like a graph. This will bring up any charts. Now they need three different dates of results to create a chart because otherwise you either get a dot or you're going to get a straight line. So once they have three different results, they'll have progress charts in here. All notes will show by clicking on this one and all past records of that exercise will show by clicking this one. As you can see, they'll have every single set. So we've recorded two sets 
and the results are shown very clearly in here. So that's how they would see all of their past results, every single set that they've ever done. However, I would recommend that during the program, they just record their results and move on to the next exercise. Let's go back into the schedule. Your clients will be able to see that they've got one more thing left that day. So it's a PDF of some recipes so they can view all of their recipes. It might just be one recipe for that day, whatever you've put in. So they could view that or check in to say they have done it. When they've done, for example, their program, but if they didn't record any results in it, it's entirely up to you if you want them to record the results or not then you can just get them to click the check in just to say I've done the workout, but I didn't record results. And that will go into your records to say, yeah, they've done the training program. So they can just quickly and easily do that if they prefer or if you prefer that from them. You can scroll along and they'll go to the next day. It'll see what they've got to the next day. Now, when you set up all of the coaching and programs and things like that, it gives you the option to show it to your clients or set when it shows to your clients. So if you don't want them to see future workouts, future food diaries, future coaching, etc. in their schedule, then you just select to show it to them on the exact date that you put it into the schedule. It's entirely up to you what they see and when they see it. So we cruise up to Tuesday and they'll see that they need to update their food diary. Once again, they can go straight into it. They'll see that they've got program two from their corrective and metabolic phase, which they can go straight into. And you'll see also that on Wednesday, you said update food diary and progress photos. So they can go straight into the progress photos, view it gives the option do they want to do food diary or progress photos. Let's just show this one. It'll take it into the progress photos and they can take photos from directly inside the app or take them from their device. However, they want to do it. This will upload straight into your account and their account so that it'll be live. It'll be dated and named. Sticking on Wednesday, they've got a video to watch so they can click on view and it will take them straight into the video. So by pressing play, the video will come up. That's a really awful picture of me. Once again, once they've watched the video, they can just check in and you know that they've done it. Very, very simple. It will pop up and let you know that they've done it inside your account. So we'll very quickly look at a results tracking and this is an example on Thursday the 29th. They'll go in and view. I've just set them up with a couple of habits. So we've got body fat goal, body fat percentage, few habits, did you eat breakfast, eat five portions of fruit and veg a day. Now they can record any of those in their tracking sheets. And as you see, the scheduler takes them directly into it, but tells them which one you want tracked. So this is fruit and vegetables. They just click on the down arrow and put in the number of portions of fruit, number of portions of vegetables, or they could just do a simple yes or no answer. It's entirely up to you what you want them to do and save it. So anything and everything can be tracked in here. Anything and everything can be tracked directly from your client's schedule. So I'm sure you can see now how quick and easy this schedule makes things for your clients, how really it takes out all possible confusion as to what they need to do each day and it takes them directly to everything that they need to do. For you, we've shown you how quick and easy it is to actually set things up. If you haven't seen that video, there is a video on the blog that shows you how quick and easy it is to set up programs inside the schedule. It saves you a huge amount of time and obviously for groups things, it auto populates for all of your clients, which once again saves you a huge amount of time. It also allows you to track and see absolutely everything that your clients are doing. So have they viewed a video? Have they you know, read a PDF? Have they looked at a recipe you've given them? Have they done their programs? You'll be able to keep track of it exactly with the alerts system. And you'll be able to keep track of when people are coming to the end of a phase of programs or when they haven't got more coaching ready for them. Anything and everything will automatically be tracked for you. And if you want to have alerts of it, you will have alerts of it. 
So you can see this is a big update and will make life much, much easier for both you and for your clients. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do.